Hey beauties, today I'm going to be reviewing this hair brush blow dryer, hence why my hair is in a towel right now. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Dyson blow dryer. The Dyson one is $500, which is insane when i saw this one for like 30 something bucks i had to try it out because i do love the revlon hairbrush blow dryer i have a whole tutorial on my channel on how i use that one so if you want more of a tutorial style video using a hairbrush blow dryer i will link that right up here also in the description box if you want to head there next if you are new to my channel my name is deandra i post lots of fashion and beauty content all of which I keep affordable. So if that's something you think you would enjoy, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's talk about this blow dryer. I bought this one for $27.99. This barrel that I have on right here, it's the smallest one. It is a one inch brush. This one right here is a one and a half inch brush. And then this attachment is just a plain brush. This will give you a straight blowout. It does have a high, low, cool and off setting. It is really easy to get on and off. So you have it like this. You just place it on here. Uh, where the arrow says push it down and twist and it locks on its own to get it off You just press this button twist and pull it up. Here is the bigger brush attachment So easy so there you see it's locked Okay, I'm gonna put the one inch barrel brush on. Let's put this to the test and stop rambling. This isn't really a tutorial because I am just trying this out for the first time, but I will show you what I do to prep my hair before I blow dry it. So the first thing that I always do after taking a shower and washing my hair is apply one pump of this Garnier Fruities Sleek and Shine Anti-Frizz Serum. So I do take one pump on my hand, rub it into my hands, and then smooth it onto my ends. And then like in my bang area, because I do have some split ends up there. So I just kind of work all that product into my hair before I brush it out. So now I'm just going to brush my hair. When you're brushing your hair, you wanna start at the bottom because if you start at the top, you're just gonna drag your tangles all the way through your hair, causing damage and breakage. So always start at the bottom. It's gonna be the most gentle on your hair and it's gonna hurt you less too. So little tip right there. I have a very tender head. I don't like anyone touching my head. It hurts when like other people try to brush my hair or braid my hair or touch my hair. Maybe that's why I'm like so anti-salon. I do everything myself here at home, but yeah. So just brush your hair out. So the next thing that I like to do before I start blow drying my hair is section it off. I just do four sections. So I split it down the middle all the way and then I split it down the middle here. Just twirl it up into a little bun to get it out of my way. Clip it. Repeat on the other side. Now that I have my bottom two sections, I'm gonna spray them with this L'Oreal Blow Dry It Quick Dry Primer Spray. This helps you cut your blow dry time in half. It's also a heat protectant. It's gonna protect your hair. I really, really love this. It smells so good and it makes my hair really shiny and smooth. So let's put this blow dryer to the test. Before I start, I do want to mention that I start at the root to give my hair some volume right here at my root. So first impression after the first strand is it gave me a really pretty curl, 
which the Revlon one just kind of smooths out your hair. It did dry this strand really, really fast. I was actually really impressed. I definitely need a little bit more practice in using this brush to curl my hair, but so far I'm really liking this. The bristles could be a little bit more soft. I wonder if I would have tried a different brand and maybe spent like $20 more on this that I would have got softer bristles because comparing it to the Revlon one, which is the only one that I know to compare it to, like I know that this is a Dyson dupe, but I've never touched or felt that one or tried it. Comparing it to the Revlon one, the bristles are a little more sturdy, but let's go ahead with the rest of my hair and maybe it'll, I'll, I'll change my opinion. So let's see. Okay, I think I've figured out the curl. So this side I did what just I normally would do with the Revlon blow dryer and just blowed it out straight to see what kind of curl it would give me. And it did give me a nice little curl, which that's what the Revlon one did too. But I think I kind of figured out the wraparound curl situation. So let's try that. Slowly but surely, we're getting the hang of it. We're making some progress here. One eternity later. You can definitely see the difference in both sides of my hair, how this one kind of has like a little twist to it. That's because I was rolling and smoothing as I went. And this one, I was just kind of smoothing and then rolling at the end. So it's gonna be straighter with a slight curl. So far, I'm really, really liking it. Definitely takes a little bit of practice, just like any new beauty tool. You kind of just have to practice with it and play with it. It is giving me lots of volume right in here. I'm gonna continue blow drying throughout my hair. What I like to do is just take this clip and clip back what I've already blow dried. Just makes it easier as I'm blow drying the top. And then again, you want to blow dry with your heat protectant. So I'm gonna start in the back and move my way forward because I was kind of having an issue with all my hair kind of getting stuck in the blow dryer. So hopefully that'll help. This is what my hair looks like after using that one inch barrel. I think I'm going to use the bigger barrel on this side since this side's just a little bit more smooth on the bottom. Keep in mind this is not a tutorial because I am still kind of figuring out how to use it. It's more of a first impressions review kind of video, but I do love all the volume that I'm getting throughout my hair. Even right here on the top and right here is where my hair typically gets heavy and does it get a lot of volume. I don't have any volumizing spray or anything like that in my hair. So the fact that my hair is so big right now, I'm really, really loving it. So really quickly, just gonna switch these. The one thing that I will say is I kind of wish it got more hot. I mean, I don't know. I did say that I wanted to cut back on heat to my hair, so I don't know. It's like a... I want more heat, but I also don't want more heat. 
But I do really love how my hair is looking on this side, especially with it just being a blow dryer. I'm gonna clip this side back. And I will say that starting from the back going to the front definitely helped the situation of my hair getting all tangled in the blow dryer. So going back in with this. I am all done blow drying my hair. So here is the curl difference with the bigger barrel. I used the same kind of curling motion with this, but because the barrel is bigger, it gave me more of a smooth curled end. And then on this side, as you can see, it does have a curl bend right here. I definitely think that it was worth it. I love that I have a slight curl, smooth finish to my hair, and all I had to do was blow dry it. If you are looking for a Dyson Airwrap dupe that is fractions of the price, I mean, this one was $27 on Amazon compared to like, what is it, $500? My final thoughts are it's definitely worth the $30. You get three different kinds of blow dry styles in one. This one obviously is just gonna give you a straight out quick blow dry, which I really love this if you are just wanting to blow dry your hair before you go to bed and then wake up and curl in the morning. It's about the same price as the Revlon big blow dryer brush, which I do love that one. Don't get me wrong, I love that one. But with this one, you just get a lot more options. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this first impressions and this review. I am going to practice with this blow dryer and come up with a few hairstyles so that I can come back and share a tutorial with you guys and kind of give you a better explanation of how to use it. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm like touching my hair because I'm loving the results, but thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.